Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is another part of my Let's Play for Fallout 3. So, I believe that we just sold a lot of stuff that we don't need. And... Let's see. Super Duper Mart. Old Olney Grocery. Now, Olney, I believe, is way up north here somewhere. Yeah, and that's... I don't think we've been here. We haven't been here. We have been to the scrapyard and to minefield. I guess we might try starting to explore the areas of the map up here, or... We could go try and steal the Declaration of Independence. Now let's let's over, head over to Canterbury Commons and start to explore eastward locations. Oh. Uh, we, we are mean. And apparently we are cow killers. Well, that's not so cool, but... What is here? It's something that requires a key. Well, I guess we'll just ignore it and start on our way east. Is, is due east where we want to be? Looks like it. I don't remember what's at Canterbury Commons. Let's actually get some kind of a weapon out. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like I have sold most of my weapons. Don't need my ghoul mask on. So, let's go with the silenced pistol. For now. Wait, is this really east and slightly north? Or, I guess it is. Uh-oh. Okay, this does shit damage. Let's not use this weapon. Um... I guess frag grenades. They're nice and light. Huh. Neat. So apparently this was a giant train... Race train concourse. That passage down there looks a little bit like a trap, so I'd like to at least get a look f at where I'm going before I uh, head there. Oop. Multiple foes close together over that away. Let's get our grenade out. Okay, foes are mostly stationary. See signs of raiders. Aha. Here, catch. I do not have good cover here. No, I don't have much cover at all here. Run, run, run! Nice. Over there, watch it. Oh, well, 
already dead, I guess. Well, I guess I'll, I'll trust Dogme to finish that off. So what happened, I came around the corner, I must have tried to run back, but accidentally was behind that hook, and I landed here. Well, that's... Is this an entrance? It doesn't look like one. Oh no, it is. Wheaton Armory. Let's see, do we have foes in here? I don't know if I've ever been here in any previous run. Oh, it's radioactive. Great. Wow, it is really radio radioactive. And it's a dead end. Okay, so we are going oh, to yeah. America, use some Rad Away and Rad X, which gives me resistance to radiation. When I was a child, Combat shotgun. That should be a little bit more useful. It's not in great condition, but... Wow, this is so radioactive. What happened here? Like, why is it this radioactive, even with Radex? I mean, this is really, really bad. Oh, was this a, radi uh, a nuclear launch site, maybe? Oh! D e p e n d i no, it would something that just ends with ing. D e p e n, not ding, but just ing. No. Nope. Oh, and it can't end in ing. D e p e n d i n g. R E T U R N I and this would match. We are lean. We are mean. Whoops. Oh, shoot. Broke the lock. Well, gotta be careful with that. And I need to keep on using right away. I hope I have enough. Okay. Okay. Oh, there is a very hard locked door there. I cannot get through. Well, that is frustrating. Yeah, I'm betting this. Th there's a nuclear missile under there, and that's why it's so radioactive. Um. Yeah. I, already loot all this stuff? Yeah, looks like it. Um, already looted that. Let us get out of here. Okay, yeah, that is bad stuff. Yeah, it's really just very disappointing. Uh oh. Okay. Somewhere over there is a foe. I think they were shooting me with a sniper rifle or something. Oh, another combat shotgun. That should let me fix this thing up into being decent. I think there might have been some more bodies that we got. I 
am really curious what exactly... Okay. And another combat shotgun. Which is cool. be pretty amazing if we found a key out here so I could figure out what exactly I'm missing in there oh why not it's hard to resist the temptation to do that kind of thing somewhere over there ah, it's another raider I'm not going to mess with them right now. Whoa. They're a raider with, I think, a machine gun or assault rifle or something. Gotcha. Yep. Sounded like an assault rifle. Okay. So I think we need to clear out this building. Let's see what we can find. There's a missile launcher that is completely busted. I'm not going to bother picking it up. The way I could tell it was completely busted is that its value showed as, uh, as nothing. Okay. Let's see what's up here. No, it doesn't look like there's that much interesting up here on the top floor. So, let's start dropping down. wonder if there's anything in the basement. Nope, oh, doesn't look like it. But there is a foe coming around the corner, I think. He said he was going to do something. Not sure what he was going to do, but I'm imagining having his head fall off and explode is not what he meant to say. Oh well. Uh, is that a door? No, just a beat up section of wall. Oh, nothing that interesting up here either. So keep on moving then. Well, this might be something. Nope. Is there anything east of here? Oh, yeah. So that wasn't Canterbury Commons. That is an armory that happened to be in the way. There is a friendly over here. What is it? It is a cow. Oh. Hey. Wait, where are you? Wait, did I? am I walking through a cow? Apparently I'm walking through a cow. And I heard... Hey, s hey there! Yes? Are you up there? Or are you somehow under the cow? I don't think... Are you a talking cow? Hmm. Well, that just seems like some confusion. Looks like there's something going on over here. Oh, Talon Company. Oh. oh, 
so that was looked like it was a three-way battle between one of the traders, Talon Company, or yep, and uh, and the bear. Oh no, no! Apparently, he's another Talon Company person. Okay, and there's a friendly cow here. Interesting. We can definitely fix up our combat shotgun to nearly perfect. Which works for me. Is there anything interesting south or north? Um, more cows. And a whole bunch of stuff over there. Oh, more, uh, more Yao Gui, uh, Gui or whatever they are. Let's hunt those stupid things. Quit messing with cows. Don't mess with cows. Okay, so wh where... Where I'm trying to go is, well, there were a bunch of markers over that way, but due east, I think, is, is the one that I'm actually trying to reach. Although I guess this does show that I haven't explored this area very much. There's probably another... About something we can all uh. relate to. Something that is unquestionably in us. Those things just wander around babbling propaganda. Well, let's... Given that it seems like there's a whole long line of places that we want to learn, let's start over here and head north. Okay, different map. Oh, what is over there? That is... Oh. I need to heal up because... reload and see what this building is seems to be another really big building with a nice parking lot no visible signs of what it is supposed to be Corvega. I don't know what a Corvega is. But we'll see what's inside. Uh, I think we hear lots of rad roaches. We see some dead bodies. Hmm. Dead talent company. Well, that is a sign that whatever is in here is probably pretty tough. Might be super mutants. Kill that son of a bitch. Kill them all. God will understand. Ants. Lots of ants. Another glorious day in the wow. US Army. Still more ants. Oh. Another big book of science. Nice. How many of these ants are there? Also, I'm glad that they're meleeing with uh, dog meat because 
t takes me a long time to come. Oh, what is this? Ew. Okay, that is not good. I guess that would explain why there are so many ants, but it means that this place will probably have giant ants for a long time. Okay. On the upside, it does mean that this place is probably relatively underlooted. Maybe a Corvegas a car. So I don't mind wandering around with the lights on this point because I don't think subtlety okay that opens the door to the factory what does this do is this just a door doesn't really lead anywhere okay Let's see what's in the factory gun is out and in we go Every day is a oh good goodness day to die. Now you're starting to piss me off. so many hits. oh no didn't mean to hit dog meat There's another one up there. Wonder... Oh, well, you've already taken care of it. Never mind. Okay. Let's see. Over and up. And up. empty desks. Hmm. Well, let's see what's over here. Nothing exciting. Okay. Really not sure if there's anything at all of interest here except all the ants and stuff. But... Let's see. Did we come through here? No. Oh. Is there a reason to go this way? No, that's the end of that room. get a little bit of experience from that. Whoa. Ugh. I am kind of disgusted at these gigantic uh, ant clutches. Pity that you can't destroy them with fire. Whoa. Oh, holy shit. What is that? Okay, that is... Absolutely gigantic ant. It's kind of terrifying. And it's 
Okay, I'm guessing that that's just a physics glitch that it's still moving. Okay, that's kind of terrifying. Fortunately, it wasn't so, wasn't particularly tough and seemed to have been taken care of by... Okay, how can we get out of here? Uh-oh. Let's get out of here. Maybe that giant ant was the main attraction. Okay, uh, oh, can't go that way. Since the door is blocked. But I don't see any more immediate threat. Can I get out over here? No, apparently that door doesn't open. How can I get upstairs? So I think maybe it was upstairs that... Well, there are stairs over there. I get a few kills. Me a little bit closer to level 14. Let's see. And hopefully there's a door up here that'll let me out. Maybe not. Yeah, that that is one terrifying little thing. Well, big thing. Was the exit door? No, the exit door wasn't here. I think it was. Maybe it was downstairs here. Um. Through here? No. Okay, let's see the map. So it is forward and to the right somewhere. Uh, maybe it's through here. Yep. And it's on that wall. Okay. Is it downstairs or upstairs? Let's try upstairs first. Nope. So I guess it's downstairs. And let's get the heck out of here. This is not a good place to be. Way too many ants, easy to get lost. Lots of ant clutches that look like they're ready to, to hatch. Okay, so where are we? We're at the Corvega factory and we want to head north. Or maybe northeast, since there's something over here too. Whatever it is, I'm apparently near it. Oh, Vault 108. Another vault. Well, I guess I'm always game to see another vault. Let's see what is going on in here. Oh, this is a vault that seems to have its front door busted. Hmm. 
Mm. So just about anything could wander in here. It's not a good sign. Looks like a raider tried to make it in here and didn't survive. Oh, and there are some critters in here. Like a mole rat. Great. Definitely want this on. Not going to be worried too much about having the elements of surprise against small rats. Oh, there's a door over here. There's an open thing over here. Well, that le leads into the living quarters. That's a different area. Let's... Keep exploring this first. Um, hmm. Oh wait, what was that up there? No, just another book. Guys, don't lock the door. Okay. Cloning lab. Nice. Uh, is this interesting? Already open. Ugh. Man, this is... Scanning, sir. I'm not sure how often wastelanders get the opportunity to take a shower. This is the kind of vault that you would want to definitely take a shower after leaving. Although maybe that's true of the other vaults as well, but... Well, let's see. Let's go through this door and see what we can find. Cloning lab. Okay. Okay, hmm. we're not hallucinating in this fault, but I'm guessing that in a, in real life, the kind of wildlife you would expect to see in a vault would be much like one in a moderately deep cave. In that there aren't a lot of food sources down here. Well, except for stored food. Maybe there's a lot of stored food. There is light. And we do need to reduce our... There is a lot of light. There might be some food. The air is eventually going to go foul. But I'm wondering if, if that's going to be more of a system effect. Yeah, Sir, I am on the lookout. Maybe you would have reasonable, uh, reasonable life in, in one of these... hostile people. Oh, this is the vault with all the clones. Yeah. So apparently they made a lot of clones in this lab and they ended up being violently insane. They ended up cloning a guy called Gary a whole bunch of times. And they ended up all being violently insane. But there wasn't a lot that they could do. Once they had too many, they tried to call them. It didn't work. I 
don't think in actuality, though, clones would be that much more likely to be insane. <laughs> Man, I am just totally lost. My attempts to explore this place in a systematic fashion are not working out all that well. Well, at least I can get some nice free first aid goodies. Ooh, hello. And again, I have a cat who is being very insistent and sitting on my lap and ch using her head to shove my uh, game Get controller me. around. Okay, Dogmeat's gonna go explore the upstairs. So I am gonna poke around down here and see what I can find. Oh. We're doing okay on time. Are there any useful supplies in here? Well, I'm not seeing anything immediately. <clears throat> okay, there are more. and lots of Garys. Well, at least they have distinct numbers. They're not just named Raider in the game, like so many other foes. And apparently some other people have been wandering down into here. Okay. I just, I don't see anything particularly interesting in here. It's creepy Gary dudes. Probably could explore more. I don't think I've actually explored the place very thoroughly. But I don't have the feeling that there's likely anything more interesting down there. Plus, I'm almost full. So, let's keep on moving north. See what we can find. Didn't get, do enough damage to get any credit or experience for that kill. Bummer. That building looks like it might be one of these uh, map points. Maybe. Probably. The combat shotgun's getting pretty beat up. Nothing over here. This might be the eastern edge of the map. Yeah, I think so. But let's learn this building and maybe head inside if there if it has an inside. Oh. Oh, he has a Wasteland Survival Guide. Well, that's nice. I think I have one of those. Mm. Robot Repair Center. Okay, we're gonna swing back by... Uh, swing back by... Megaton. And sell some stuff before we head in there. Hey. Huh. 
still doesn't have a lot of... She doesn't have a lot of money to buy stuff. Oh well. I don't really need laser pistols. Nor power fists. Definitely not switchblades. This is overrated for right now, but it might be useful later. Knife. This combat shotgun is really beat up. Can get rid of it. Don't need Chinese pistols. Guess this the ten millimeter pistol might be useful until I get something better. And she Good hunting. She doesn't have any ammo. I think because I bought up all her ammo before. Okay, so we're gonna drop a little, some more stuff off at the home, and then we are gonna head back out there. Didn't get any new bobble heads. Don't need. I think that is a pretty... Well, we're still up to 139. Is there any way we can get this down further? I'm not going to use this immediately. Um, probably can make do with a few less of these. Definitely fewer of these. So we're not yet doing a playstyle where stealth is possible because our allies are what I'll call stealth stupid. Okay. Whoop. Let's get this out. Now we're going to travel back over to Robot Repair Center and pop inside. Okay, no assassins when we spawned. Let's see what's in, what's in here. Okay. There are Cubicles, not unlike the other cubicle farms throughout the whole rest of the game. Oh, a working terminal. Okay, whatever. Let's not worry too much. And... Okay, so somebody has a box of pulse grenades under their desk. I think. Aha! The key is behind the monitor somehow. Maybe this isn't that bad. Oh. Oh, well, I guess that is it. Okay. Well, maybe the key is lost to time or something. Ah, bathrooms, not interesting. Let's 
see what's through here. Uh oh. Whoa. Is there a way to get over there without going through that door? Because that would be amazing. Maybe. Let's see, so there's an elevator. Pity that dog meat seems so absolutely opposed to doing anything stealthily. Huh. a feeling th oh well not oh, not a very exciting destination and what is over here Okay, those look like the laser turrets that might have been shooting us from the other side. Let's see. Can I take them out? Apparently not. What am I hitting? There we go. That's a little bit better. No! Don't, don't close! I do not see why that door likes to open and close so much. Okay, so I think we're probably done with this for now. Let's switch back to a pistol. Head on up, and hopefully there aren't any baddies waiting for us at the top. Well, what is...
That's kind of interesting. There's a foe somewhere in that direction. P A R E N T S. Nope. P A R E N T. This would match, but it doesn't. P A R E N T S. This would match, I think. And that looks like laser turrets. And for this, I just want to have a nice, clean, one-shot kill if I can, because they're very nasty. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that works. And let's switch back to a regular pistol. And... Head on through. Oh, oh. Oh, goodness. Uh, move, move, uh, move. Okay. Really not a very good weapon against these guys. Let's try the laser rifle. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's head down. I guess I can try the other door later. We're gonna grab some energy cells. Another goodies from you. Let's see what's in here. Okay. It's not an ing. That wouldn't match. Yes. This would match. Good. And so wheat. Maybe... Light step is really useful. Demolition expert is useful if you use explosives a lot. Entomologist is almost useless. I'm gonna go with just more intense training. Having better basic stats is always useful. Uh, let's bump up our perception to nine. Oh, and as always, let's save, because we don't want to have to pick our levels and stuff ahead. What is over here? Seems you guys are entering through e and exploring areas that I haven't even seen yet. 
Oh, wait, this is where we came from before. And where we decided not to continue because there were too many turrets firing at us. Okay, so we'll head up and then head through the other door over here. And see what is over here. Looks like there's a very fancy door there. And... Yep, who knows what that is. Okay, a little bit more to the right. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Wait, that's not really a good thing. Oh. Okay, well, I hope I didn't just kill my buddy. Oh no, good, I didn't. Okay, and what is over here? Filing cabinets. Huh, very uninteresting. I kind of expected there to be more here. Okay. Well, whatever. Okay, and what are you doing over there? Apparently, you're... You're kind of stuck. Fortunately, going through doors, I think, warps you to where I am. And that should be good enough to get you out of there. And again, the movement of my compatriots confuses me. Okay, north, a little bit northeast is where we're going. You guys still with me? Yeah. Good. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, a town. You'll never get away with terrorizing this town. Not while it's under the protection of the Mechanist! You and your pathetic tin can are no match for my army! <laughs> the citizens of this town have nothing to fear! The Mechanist is here to protect them! We'll see about that. Attack my end soldiers! Destroy this fool and his tin toys! Go who dares interrupt the antagonizer? Be gone! Humanity's creations were the seeds of their undoing. And now, the world will belong to the antagonizer! Not while the world is protected by me, the mechanist! Your reign of terror is at an end! That's terrible. Wow. Are you alright? You aren't hurt, are you? I'd like to apologize for the rude welcome. Those two have been a bit of a problem lately. Name's Ro. Uncle Ro. The, um, mechanist and the ant agonizer. That's just what they call themselves. It's ridiculous, I know. A while ago, we were attacked by the ant agonizer, that woman with the ants, obviously. The mechanist saved the town with his robots. Well, that was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger, and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. Oh, that's terrific! Find where the ant agonizer and the mecha... You only need to stop one of them, really. Great! 
Oh, and please, do try to use some discretion. We already have pl Now, one day there was... My nephew Derek might know more about them. I swear it. He might know more about where you... Okay, so, yeah. Apparently dealing with those two crazies is... Oh man, did you see... That's easy. The antagonizer's suit makes her super agile. But I guess her ants are pretty weak on their own. The mechanist robots are a lot tougher. Well, maybe one. No way! So apparently, stopping those two nutters is a quest. So, let's, uh... Oh, and I bet that where I just was... Yeah. Maybe I can do this real quick. Because I've already cleared out this area. So, let's head upstairs. What are you doing in here? Speak now, Sid. I realize you mean well. Is... Is that true? Am I really the villain here? I... I guess I could just get here. I'm sorry. Just leave me alone. I've got a lot to think about. Okay, well, I've convinced him to stop. And, uh, I guess it might be nice to swing by and see if I can get the other one to stop, too. Whoop, oh, wrong place to fast travel to. Okay, so the other place is over here. Oh, messed up building. And there appears to be a cave entrance. Well, it seemed... maybe I've done this, this quest before. I think there might be another entrance up here, maybe. At least I thought there was. Maybe I'm mis misremembering. Ah, yes. Whoop! Oh, 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 shoot. Great. I've gotten stuck. Fortunately, there's fast travel. Uh, otherwise, you can really end up... Uh, otherwise, you could ridiculously end up losing the game because you can't move. I'm gonna try that again, but this time I'll try and avoid that uh, that crevice. I imagine that's that's in general difficulty in uh, in open sandbox games. Th uh, that that in that it seems like you would need to to run a lot of data mining over your own, perhaps randomly generated rock formations just to avoid having things like that where people could get stuck. Okay. Gonna try ducking down. Okay. And it's a little bit to the right. And... It looks like there's somebody right over here. At last, you. Isn't it only fitting? If I couldn't be there to personally. You would dare. But as you have. 
but I'll snuff those. Every day is a good day hey. to die. Where? Kill them all. God will understand. Uh. Uh. Well, looks like this isn't going to end well. Well, I guess that, that ends uh, that. Oh, she has a quantum bo uh, bottle. Nice. If I remember right, the rest of her lair is just more ants, and I'd rather not poke around there because there's not a lot interesting there. I thought there was a way to talk her down. It might have relied on doing a different uh, line in, in dialogue. Oh, well. I guess I can let this dude know that his problems are over. With all of that fighting, I welcome to. That's grand. I do believe it's fair to say you've saved. Now I do believe. I had thought of. It'd take a pretty set. Madam, you flatter me. But since it's a trader community, I suppose I could. So you just let me know what you'd like. Okay. As. At the moment, anything more, and he'll have trouble with the travel. So you can put in money have these traders uh, have more stuff. And I just decided to go with with uh, weapons and misc, because armor I'm happy to find on my own. And I think that might be one of the traders now. Maybe. Are you one of the... Newcomer to town, huh? Okay, so I think the trader's set up here. So let's wait a little bit. Yep, and there is one of the traders. I hear you're my mysterious investor. Thanks to you, I have so many, I can hardly... Please. Enjoy my selection of high-quality problem solvers. Okay, no, don't need the Ripper. Um, these are very silly, but I'm going to drop them off at home because they're kind of collector's items. Okay, let's see if you have any ammo. No, you don't have any 308, nor 44. Well, then I'll have to Give talk with shelf. you later. Yes. Okay. But yeah, we do kind of need to swing by home because these armors weigh a lot. Neither of them are very charismatic because they've been pissing people off. Um, suppose, oh, when did I pick this up? Okay, we just have one quantum. It's not really worth making a trip to turn one of them in.
Okay, so we have Canterbury Commons. We've not been to the Temple of the Union. We probably don't want to go to Old Holney right now. Um, I'm actually... In my next Let's Play, I am going to go... and investigate the Outcast Radio Center because there's a add-on there that is particularly cool. For now, I think I'm going to swing by... Ford Independence, because I think I'm allowed in now. And just to see what's... That's right, America. Before we were devastated oh. by atomic war, each state had its own professional victim. Not sure what... Oh, he's heading up to hunt the iBot. Okay, we're going to save just in case we screw this up. And we're going to head inside. what is in here. Yeah, so once you're inside you're allowed to loot, apparently. But yeah, you have to get your reputation high enough with uh with these guys before they'll let you in without shooting at you. More steps upwards. I think if you keep going downstairs you'll find out uh, you'll find where they actually built their base. But yeah, this is if I remember right to stay looting extravaganza rather than anything particularly contentful. No time to talk to your type, Roko. Why don't you go bother the Brotherhood or something? It's kind of nice that they don't seem to mind. Good to see. Whoops, I did not mean to drop that. Or, I mean, I did not mean to pick up that. Don't need a baseball or a camera. Oh, well. Back off, local. Why don't you look where you're going? Why don't you go bother the Brotherhood or something? Okay. But yeah, once we're done looting here, we're going to get ready to mosey on out. As I said, and uh, go do th uh, some add-on content. Now that might, I believe that will mean the end of my association with RL3. Because as soon as you enter an add-on area... All your companions are dismissed. Another quantum. Nice. Oh, well, that, that's st steak and food and stuff. And because my karma at this point is so positive, I'm not going to be able to re-recruit him. I don't think. Which is okay. Um, he has been a fun companion, but there are plenty of other companions in the game. really it? I thought there was more stuff to loot in here. Hmm. Hey, local, shouldn't you be banging rocks together or something? Yeah, well, I guess that's it. How'd I go? Oh, actually, I'm going to need to swing by my house yet yet another time to really make this work. Oh, there's a lower level. Okay. Maybe there is more good stuff down here that I would like to have. Okay. Ing. Nope, it is definitely not an ing. Zero of ten... Uh, correct. C-T-I-V-A-T-I-N-G. Maybe? Nope. It is not an E-D. 
I N G B E D R A. Okay. Doors open. Let's see what is down here. Caston said you're clear. Okay, don't really need that. The other upside of of switching companions is that my uh, only dog meat will be there to screw up uh, my stealth. And I might even dismiss dog meat for a little while just to show that the game really plays differently if you're playing it in a, in a very stealth type, stealthy way. Okay, is there anything in here that's interesting? This seems to be where the Brotherhood people sleep. Oh, well. Another scoped magnum. Nice. I hope being here hasn't somehow pissed them off enough that RL3 is going to start attacking people. That would be bad. Okay, well, I guess this is their medical lab. This is their computer room. I'm not sure what the use is of collecting these research notes, but maybe they're good for something. Oh, don't mind if I do. very, very trusting. Maybe trusting isn't the word. They're very uncaring. Dog meat, get out of the way. Stupid dog. other hand if, if they're gonna let me wander in and take all their weapons I'm not gonna complain okay well be on the lookout then oh, well can't use that door go. As soon as I can find my way out. Okay, so just to be clear, what I'm doing now is I am post-loot heading for home. Oh. 
drop off all this stuff. Uh, that's not quite outside, but... And I actually want to get my weight down as far as humanly possible. Okay, I want to get my weight down as low as humanly possible. Because the add-on that I'll be doing... results in your having basically as much loot as you can carry. Okay, so... So you want to enter... Uh, the, well, let's actually fix these things up together. You, you want to get your, your weight down to practically nothing before you start this this add-on. Don't need two of those. Okay, so we're just carrying a Magnum. A rodent, roving trader at foot. Actually, so am I embarrassingly naked or anything? Yes. So I will put on this and this. Have have my single weapon. None of th this stuff weighs anything. I'm almost completely okay. And now, just to start this quest, I'm going to head aiding the outcasts. That is over here. It's near the Red Racer factory. We're gonna duck down. Fast travel. Hopefully there won't be any raiders on over here because this is a very bad time. Uh oh, not good. Oh, oh but he's all the way over there. I'm starting to Shit. So, it's not good to be completely unarmed. I'm glad that I at least brought this weapon with us. And I'm wearing minimal armor, but I'm really, at the moment, very... Un un oh, oh boy. There's a whole bunch of foes over there. Not good. I, I'm worried that that might be Talon Company. Probably is. Well, at least there's something. If I have to do close combat fighting... I'm actually gonna temporarily plop on... put this armor on. It's armor that I don't mind getting rid of. If I have to. And let's if we're going to have a shot at... So where we actually want to be is over there. So we don't have to... We don't have to get near this cluster of foes, which is good. Because... Looks like there's another guy to replace that guy. So we're going to see if we can sneak our way around here. Not start that fight. And now I think we're probably far enough away that we can safely just make a run for it. 
Okay, uh, can I survive this fall? I think so. Woof. Okay. And, oh. So it's apparently through the subway. Well, that's not good. I thought that we were doing a fast travel right to where we wanted to be, but it's possible that it only showed up as here because that's the nearest subway station. Might be a case of the game being a little bit too clever for its own sake. On the other hand, it looks like it might just want me to exit again through the other end of the subway. So, let's see how well that works. Yeah, I think that's the case. Okay. Duck down and head forward. It's looks like we've emerged into an area with a fight. We actually need to arm ourselves using loot from our foes, because this is not the cakewalk that I thought it was going to be. Let's see, is there anything useful I can get from you? Hunting rifle. Fortunately, all these weapons are things that I wouldn't mind giving up. Weapons. Assault rifle. Okay. Uh oh. Moving. Keep your distance, mutt. No knowing what you've got reading on you. Great. Okay, yeah, this definitely would have been a smarter thing to do with my normal set of gear. Activity. Just what I wanted. Okay, well, let's see. 
You have a minigun, you have another assault rifle. Yeah, the weight is adding back up, but down we go. And out we go. Defender Morrill's gonna want to talk with you. Uh oh. Oh, and there are more. Well, let's... Let's go up and help clear this area. Okay, well, now that... Have we found it? Oh, sorry. Okay, we found the outcast outpost. We're going to swing by Megaton again to actually drop off all the stuff that we just got. Hey there. And to heal up. And then we're going to head back to the... to there to start on that DLC. Nice little 12 hour wait. Really bad timing here. Hell of a day, isn't it? Okay, where is Moira? Don't try any. Mm, let's see. Ah, there she is. we pick up anything else? No, nope, not really. Good hunting. See if you can repair my hat. Uh, oh yeah. You can sell this armor too. Good. Good hunting. Okay, now I just need to heal up and I will be in tip-top shape for for this DLC. I guess it makes sense in this game to see the one hour nap is actually being rest as long as you need until you're ready. Okay, it's 1 p.m. And And we are ready to. All right, local mind. Exp How the hell did you hear? Me? Oh, I isn't that fancy? Why don't you head inside and talk to Protector McGraw? A real calling in. Yeah, we took care of him. Listen, I'm sending down a local. You want to talk to this? One? Yeah, exactly. A real out. Okay. So, we're going to save the game here and actually explore this in the next edition of my Let's Play of Fallout 3. So, or wait, did I save? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.